You know, again, at Mac, uh, Mac play, every game's going to be tight. Um, our guys got to put 40 minutes together, though. Uh, I felt like NIU was a more together team, the tougher team tonight, and they got rewarded. Um, I thought that was from the first second of the game. You could tell their players had great belief in every shot that they shot. Listen, David Coit, and I told our guys this before the game, David Coit and, uh, and, and Caleb Thornton are playing as well as any backcourt in our league, dynamic with the ball, live in the paint, create, can make shots. And you know what? And we had no answers for those guys. Whether we were going 2-3 zone, whether we were switching ball screens, whether we were hedging ball screens, whether we were in drop coverage, we tried – and we tried a little bit of everything, quite honestly, and we didn't really have any answers for, for those two or Zarek Nutter, who I thought just physically and athletically dominated our wings around the rim. Um, offensively, I thought we got off to a slow start with our turnovers early in the game. Uh, I think we had eight in the first half. Um, I don't think we had any of the last five minutes of the, of the first half. That's why we went on our run uh, there. Um, we did a better job throughout the second half of taking care of the ball, but Again, our defense has got to be better, man. Um, you know, Mac, Mac play, man, there's some terrific guards. You know, like every team. Every team's got one or two guys that can really go, create, play off the bounce, shoot the ball, score it. And we got to do a much better job in ball screen coverage and, and guarding the ball. Was that a, a particular problem in the second half that, you know, with their shooting percentage? Yeah, I, I thought those guys really had it going. And, and Zarek Nutter, I don't, I don't want to ever dis, you know, he, he had it really going as well. I mean, all three of them did. And it's like I told our guys, man, they can't go into a game thinking I'm going to have a career night. Right, like that, that's got to change. Like our defense has got to be a heck of a lot better, man. Like it can't, you can't be a sieve out there, you know. And it, again, it, it's, and I told our guys in this in the locker room, everybody, Everybody in our organization, anybody that touches our organization has to, has to look ourselves in the mirror and say, how can I bring value to this team? How? And, that, and that's the thing. Like, we, we have to own it. Like, we got to fix it. It's the only way you can fix a problem. You got to own it first and then get better at it. It seemed like uh, Northern was able to put some really sticky defense on them. Uh, was that something pretty much leading into it that you uh, had anticipated that it was going to be that way? Because there, there weren't all that many uh, clear shots, and you know, it, uh, yeah. they ended up creating 18 turnovers. So, uh, yeah. you know, a lot of them in the second half. So, uh, I mean, uh, were you expecting that level? Yeah, you know, we had 13 turns for the game, but I, but I think you know, to me, um, I thought. I thought like, you know, they, they go all in on your drive, right? Like they're going to. And, and whether it's in the post-ups or whether it's on a drive, they heavy rake at your ball. They were trying to put two on Makai the whole game as well, right? They were trying to double team Makai anytime there was a ball screen or uh, they, you could tell they really made a point of emphasis on that. And they wanted to get the ball out of his hands. And they did a good job with it. And I thought early on Makai struggled with it. He was trying to force it a little bit too much. Um, and then as the game wore on, I thought he got a little bit better. and said, hey, listen, you got to give yourself – to the double team. That means there's a four on three somewhere else on the floor. And I thought he got a little bit better at that in the second half, but just those rakes on those drives, they were going all in on our drives. We got to be able to keep that floor space. Same thing in the post, because they raked Anderson a couple times as well, right? And then it just led to run outs for those guys. And, and we can't do that, because I think they ended up scoring, uh, they only scored six points off their turns, you know, but, but it seemed like freaking more, to be honest with you. Uh, certainly there were a lot of other things at, at work in that second half, but uh, how much or how did it affect you when Anderson had to leave? I know you don't have a whole lot of depth in uh, his yeah. type of what he brings. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's next man up. And jaquel has got to be better. he got to be better. And he wasn't ready tonight. And, and, and listen, he will be better moving forward. I believe in Jaquel. Um, he's got to be ready, though. You know, he's a freshman. Sometimes you get that freshman roller coaster, and it's like, you know, you can't you can't give a uh, give up a run when you go in there, and you just got to play hard. That's what I told those guys. Listen, I'll I'll play with mistakes as long as you run around a million miles an hour, um, but you can't have that look on your face, that just that 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 blank stare. Um, and I believe in Jaquel. I want to make that very clear. I'm not blaming the game on him at all, but he needs to play better because we need to have post depth. Uh, which, which you talked about. And, you know, we shoot, we play Morgan some at the five. You know, like Morgan's a warrior. He plays hard and 
And, uh, but again, that's, that's not Morgan's position either, right? But I thought our best lineups, if you look at our plus minus tonight, was clearly when we went small. When we put Morgan at the five, we went on a run at the end of the first half, and then we went on a run towards the end of the game as well, uh, playing small. So we're willing to do it. It's kind of like our death ball lineup, a little bit like when Golden State Warriors will play Draymond Green at the five. Um, I think it could be hard for teams to, to defend us uh, when we do that. Uh, but we need Jaquel to be better, and Andy's got to stay out of foul trouble. Was the second chance points edge a little bit having to do with that smaller lineup that you were talking about? Yeah, and no. I, I thought I thought Andy got beat on a couple of them. I mean, those dudes, I, I, number 23 is athletic. Harvin, holy Moses. I mean, that dude went and got a couple crump. Those dudes are big and athletic, and so is Zarek Nutter. And I told the guys, I mean, they, genetically they're bigger than us and they're a little bit more athletic than us. we got to move them back. You cannot go and ball watch or go into the rim. And if you do, man, you're going to get punished. And, and they got us. I mean, they, and they end up having nine offensive rebounds for 15 points, I believe. Again, that's too many. And again, you look at it. It's what I told our guys. Listen, I believe in our team just as na much now as I did two weeks ago. We're not far off. We're close. My, th my whole thing with our group is to not be obsessed with the results right now, but be obsessed with the trajectory. That's all I want. And if we stick to that, we'll end up getting where we want. And I always have to keep – I have to remind myself of that because I'm, I'm a competitor. I hate losing. Like, I hate it. It drives me nuts. It keeps me up all night. But it, are we getting better every day? And that's every individual. And I'm going to hold everybody accountable to that, right, in, in, in our program. So uh, that, that's what we got to be. we got to continue to be obsessed with the trajectory of where we're going. Did you notice any adjustments – Northern Illinois might have made at halftime offensively and defensively that uh, affected how things went in the second half? I just feel like um, they attacked our matchups very well. Um, every team scouts, you know, in conference, and they attacked our weaknesses, and that's what they did tonight offensively, driving the ball, playing off ball screens, and defensively. Um, they really locked in on Makai, putting two on the ball on him, and so um, they did a pretty good job with that, and especially scouting us. So. That was their game plan going in. We saw it. We just had to do a better um, job of reacting and doing better with that. How much of a change was it uh, uh, style-wise from uh, when you were playing against Ball State the other day and this kind of a team? I know the def their defensive uh, pressure was pretty intense at times. I just felt like they definitely pushed the ball a lot. They have two really good guards in their point guard and two, and they, they push it and transition off our turnovers. And, you know, they made us pay when we turned the ball over and missed shots. And so that's what they did. They attacked us in transition a lot with those two guards and the ball screens in space. So, and we had to make adjustments to it, and they still got away with it. So do you like playing the five? <laughs> I mean, it gives me an um, opportunity to be in space, you know. Wherever I played all – four positions tonight. So wherever my team needs me, I'm, I'm going to be. And that's, and that's what they needed me to be tonight. And so I did the best that I could.